Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET English Town. What is what? Uh, I'll do that in a sec. So, hello, welcome to another video. Today we are doing my next grammar student book and also workbook. First, we are going to do our student book. This is for our Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 2 p.m. class at 4 p.m. We are doing lesson 19 today. If you have a look in your student book, we are doing these pages 80 to 83. First, we need to check homework for yeah. lesson 18. Lesson 18, thank you, page 1, 2, 3. So please, if you're at home, check your homework. Lesson 18 in your student book. All right, you have to circle the correct word. Easy enough, just circle the correct word. All right, Sam, can you stop, please? Number one, I ate. I... What is it? Page one, two... Yeah. Sorry, one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. Sorry, you have to check the right place for the adverb. So you have to make sure the adverb is in the right place, the right position. Uh, 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 Sam, okay, number one is Sam speaks too fast. Oh. Sam speaks too fast. Teacher. So number two. You have to write the word right. On the right, right hand side. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So write the word on the right hand side, and then you have to put the verb in the correct. The, sorry, the adverb in the correct place in the sentence. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. All right, rest. Can you do number two? Honestly. Number one, blank speaks. Sam speaks too fast. So number two. And the blank speaks. Yes. No, no, no. What? Sam speaks. Ah, so number one, carefully. Example, Yeah, this is the example. I'm just showing you the example. So number one, I always brush my teeth. Carefully. Oh. And why, why is it done always brush and brush? Why is it writing brush on the right hand side? Yeah, write the word it modifies. Uh, write the word it modifies. Okay. Because it modifies. Changes. Mm -hmm. Changes. The word so modifies. It Change. So it's changing. Always brush. I always brush my teeth carefully. So number two, uh, so number one would be Sam speaks too fast. So speaks, yes, it changes speaks. All right. So number one, uh, you have to check number two here, and it changes the word speaks because he's speaking quickly. All right. I'll do number two as well. Honestly, please answer my questions honestly. So number three, check. Answer is changing. Please answer. It's telling you to or answer the questions truthfully. Honestly. So number three, the word is almost. The animal park was almost empty. Almost empty. Number three. It's changing uh, empty. It's changing empty. Almost empty. Almost. Not quite empty. Almost. Nearly empty. Number four, the word is quite. Not quiet. Quite. Quite means? Very. Very. Correct. My puppy was very happy. So number two, good word. My puppy was quite happy. With his toy. Good. So, it's changing happy. And number five, my, uh, the word is well. My mom plays the flute well. So, tick number three. And it's changing? Plays. Plays. Very good. Plays. 
Sam, check in your answers, please. Sam? Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Check, please. Check yeah. your answers, please. Yeah. Okay, everyone okay with that? Did you understand? Yeah. Yes? Okay. All right, let's do circle the word, the correct word. So number six. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go around now. I think you guys can enter these ones. Wes, stop with you, please. I finished my homework. Quickly, good. Circle the answer quickly. Ellie, number seven. So always comes just late. Late, good. Dorothy, eight. The horses look happy in the field. Good. Look, Sam, nine. This one is sounds interesting. Um, this one is a bit tricky. Sound is a, a word you you associate with hearing, but this is sound. The new TV show sounds interesting. No, tasty. Doesn't taste interesting. No. And West, last one, please. Look at this one. He's very fast. He is very fast. Good. So we have quickly, late, look, sounds, and fast. All right, number 11, there is one mistake, sorry, there is one correct, one of the sentences is correct, you have to find the mistakes. All right, Sam, stop with you please, number 11. We may not have seen or you, we may have seen All right, you may not watch TV now, we are having dinner. Does that sound okay? Me, what TV? It's no, correct. It's correct. It's correct. Yeah, it is correct. Why you may not watch TV now. What TV now? No, it says you may not watch TV now. You cannot say you may not watching TV. You can say you are watching TV now, but this one is negative form, so you no. can't say. No. You can't say. Uh, you may not watching TV now. Even though it is now, and we always teach you ING with now, but this one is different because it is negative. You may not. It's may not. You can say you are not watching TV now. Why is it may? Why is this one different? What does may mean? What does may mean? You may not. Not must. Is it something you can't do? Could. Something that you cannot do now. Okay. No, no, no. All right, number 12. West 12, please. Do you think it is sunny later? Yes, I think it will. Sunny. Do you think it will be sunny later? Yes. This is a future tense, remember, will and the verb to be. Do you think it will be sunny later? Yes, I think it will. All right, Dorothy, 13. Mary mops the kitchen floor last night. Mopped it. Mopped. Past tense. Mary mopped the kitchen floor last night. And Ellie, 14. Mary, uh... I bought a new blouse yesterday. Good. It is past tense again. I bought a new blouse yesterday. Sam, last one, please. What should it be? The question is wrong, Sam. The question is wrong. Yes. Can I use your phone? No. Answer? Yes, you can. No, you can't. What if I said, may I use your phone? Yes, you may. Yes, you may. Okay, no, very good. No, you may, may not. May you, no, you may not. Okay, correct. All right, so there's the answers for 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, 11 was the correct sentence. All right, number 
Okay, Sam? Yeah. Alright, let's do student book, please, if you're watching at home. Oh, what happened? If you're watching at home, page 18, we are doing lesson 19. Oh. 19. Yeah. Hot? Fade in, huh? I'm hot. All right, page, oh, page 18. Page lesson 19. We are doing more adverbs, more adverbs. All right, now, we have to do what the adverb modifies in bold. Okay, circle and write the answer. So the example for number one, the school is completely dark at night. Dark, uh, completely, adjective. Sorry, dark is the adjective. So we have three columns here. Verb, adjective, and adverb. All right, number two, slow down. You are driving too fast. What is fast? Adjective. Yes, fast is an adjective. All right, verb, I'll write this up here. Verb, adjective and adverb. So number two, fast is an adjective. So you have to circle, fast. All right, number three, I can find the bookstore easily. E I can find the bookstore easily. Find it. Yeah. What is it changing? Find. I can find the book so easily. First, the word in bold, easily. What is it? It's not a verb. Is it an adverb or an adjective? Adverb. What is it uh, adding to the verb? What is it adding to the verb? Adverb. Adverb. What is it adding? Plus. Plus? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, and an adverb is adding to a verb. Easily find. Easily find. Right, number four. I studied really hard for this exam. First, the a uh, bold word, really. I studied really hard. I studied really hard. Good. It is changing or adding to hard. Adjective. What is the verb in that sentence? What is the verb? I studied it really hard. Yes. Study. Okay, it's not changing the uh, verb, so we're not adding to the verb. I am very happy to use adverb. Happy? Truly. Uh, where are we? Verb, adjective, adverb. Truly. Yes, sir. I am truly happy. Truly happy. Right. Right, adverb. Number six. Look at Sam. He's running very well. Well, I So well is the bold and it's changing the verb. Running well. Running is the verb, so it's adding to the verb. He runs well. He runs well. Number seven, that is completely wrong answer. That is a completely wrong answer. No. Adjective. Uh, completely. Well, no verb. No, wrong, wrong. Wrong. It's changing wrong. Yeah. Alright, number seven. Oh, sorry, that was seven. Did I miss six? Oh no, I wrote seven. Six, two times. Seven, eight. 
I don't get up early on Sundays. Yes, why? Because it's the edible version. Get up is the verb, so it's adding to the edible verb. Version. Get up early. It's the edible verb. Right, Dorothy, do you want to try number nine? The band played the music quite nicely. So it is changing what? Played. Played, yes, how they played. They played nicely. They played nicely. All right, last one, number 10, Ella, out there, Ellie. Ellie, do you want to try the pajamas were, oh, sorry, the pyramids. The pyramids were really huge. Adjective. Huge is what? I don't know. Adjective. No, adjective. It's describing a noun. What is the noun? Pyramids. The thing. Come on, Sam. Okay. That was a bit complicated. Does anyone have any questions? That was a bit hard. What question? Come on, if you don't understand, I need to know because this is quite difficult. Dark is an adjective. It's describing the night. The night is a noun. The thing. The thing is the night. So what kind of a night was it? <laughs> what does an adjective describe or help? Sorry, what does an adjective describe? Wait, what does an adjective describe? A noun. What is a noun? What is a noun? Come on. Ellie, wake up. What is a noun? Place. People, places, you. things. Okay, so an adjective describes a person, a place, or a thing. All right, this classroom is big. What is the adjective? Uh, big. big. What is it describing? Class. This classroom. How is it describing the classroom? Big. Big, yes, it's big. Huge. Okay. Is it big? Big, yes. It's not big. It's not big, it's small, but it was an example. Mm. Alright, page 81, please. 81. Uh, Alright, do you remember frequency adverb? Yes, I remember it. What does frequency mean? I don't know. Oh, never, we did this never. many, many times. Never. But what does it mean? What does frequency mean? We, every time we do something. How many. often something happens. How many times often. something happens. Or, or how many times something doesn't happen. Alright, look at the frequency adverbs. In the example we have always, usually. Often, sometimes, never, occasionally. Never, yes, occasionally. occasionally. Good. Good. Alright, Sam, number one, please. I blah blah blah. Get up at seven o'clock. Okay, there is no wrong or right answer here. This is what do you do? I usually get up at seven. I always get up at seven. I never. I never. I sometimes. Okay, it doesn't matter. They are all correct. Always. Sam, I have to stop the video. Some. All right, let's start again, please. That means back. All right, number two. West, you can do number two. I never say, I, I sometimes take a shower. All right, good. Number two. I sometimes take a shower in the morning. Oh, sometimes. Thank you. All right. Uh, Dorothy, number three. My mom. Is often busy in the morning. Good. My mom is often busy in the morning. Good. Ellie, what's your number four? My family. My 
Ellie? Mm. My family always eats breakfast together, never eats breakfast Sometimes. together. Sometimes, okay? Yeah. Sometimes. Sam, back to you, number five, late for school. Sometimes. I am sometimes late for school, Sam. Don't be late. All right, question number six, watch TV before school. I never watch TV. Good. You don't. Oh, Darcy, don't because watch I TV. never went to go to school at 18. All right, I never watch TV before school. Ellie, last one, number seven, ride my bike to school. Never. Never. I never ride my bike to school. Okay. All right, your answers at home can be different. You just pick the correct one for your situation. Situation, what is situation? Your happening, your thing. Whatever Moment. is correct for you. What is happening? Thing. All right, next one, check the frequency adverb. So you have to check, tick, tick. All right, they are listed on the left-hand side of the page. Number one is already finished. My brother usually, so number one, does his homework every day. All right, Dorothy, you can stop please. Often. Ten, you are often late for school. So number two, check. Two. Ellie, number two, three, sometimes. Good, my friends, sometimes go to the movies. Or, you can have actually in another way, you can have sometimes, sometimes, what? my friends go to the movies, sometimes my friends go to the movies. Alright, uh, West Fork, never, West, yeah. oh, sorry, that should be two, three, four, West Fork. My English class never starts late. Good. My English class never starts late. Number two. Sam, five. Always starts late. Amy is always a good student. Good. Amy is always a good student. Like Dorothy. Number six, Dorothy. You are number six. Usually. And usually practices the piano for two hours. Good. Usually. Number one. All right, good job. Page 82, please. 82. 82. Come on, Sam. 82. Yes. I know. All right, grammar practice. Circle the correct word. Number one. My little brother learns everything. Ellie? Really fast. Good. Number one. Really fast. Really fast. West, number two, the actresses. Always wear. Good, always wear. Like you. Sam, three. My science project was too difficult. Good, too difficult. Too difficult. Dorothy, four. My mom's homemade cookies are usually delicious. Good, are usually. Good, Ella. Oh, Ellie, five. They were speaking quite loudly on the bus. Nice love like it. Quite loudly. West six. West. Everyone had a very good summer vacation. Good. Everyone had a very good summer vacation. Really? Alright, number seven, Sam. Really happy after the exam. Good. We felt really happy after the exam. Good. Dorothy, eight. We studied very hard for the test. Good. We studied very hard. You like me. Ellie, nine. I wish everyone finished the test quite fast. Quite fast. Very good. And West, last one, number ten. My mom. My mom likes very careful. Lee. Me. Very carefully. My mom drives very carefully. Okay, you just have to circle the answer. Carefully. Alright, exercise B. We have to write the sentences in the correct order. With 
Sam, you can stop please. Number one. Amy. And sing Good. Amy. And can sing very beautifully. Beautifully. Good. Amy can sing very beautifully. Dorothy, number two. I went to bed quite late last night. Good. I went to bed quite late last night. West number three. Your answers. Z. Your answers are always good. Excellent. Your answers are always correct. No. Period. And Sam, four. Four. When you're ready, please three first. Four. Four. Now just finish. Finish three, please. And number four, this essay is written well. Or this essay is well written. Both correct. Yes. This essay is well written or this essay is written well. This essay. Actually, I'll probably change this. Written well. Well written. More, more natural. This essay is well written. More natural. But other way is also correct. Okay, last page. Write a sentence about very beautiful. Dorothy, I know you're going to say, I am very beautiful. No. No? Okay. Page 83. Excellent. The flowers are very beautiful. I am not beautiful. Everyone is beautiful, Sam. Really? Everyone is beautiful. You? Everyone is beautiful. Yeah. The flowers are very beautiful. Very good, Dorothy. Ellie, can you do number two really fast? That motorcycle was very tall. What? That motorcycle was very tall. Motorcycle. Okay. Motorcycle. That motorcycle was, motorcycle. Motorcycle. was really fast. Good. That motorcycle was really fast. That motorcycle was really fast. Good. And last one, sometimes in the west. This is sometimes down. Sometimes down. Oh, not about me. No, not about me. Thing, thing, thing. No, not about me. I sometimes sing. like to sing. What? I sometimes like to sing. I sometimes like to sing. Ah. Okay. One, two, and three. Page 83. All right. Let's do our final cartoon exercise. Everyone okay? Everyone finished? Yes? Everyone is very quiet today. Why? What's going on? Higher. Okay. All right, let's start with you, Sam. I acted. Uh, loudly. No. Loudly. Stupidly. Yeah, stupidly. Yeah. I would say stupidly. I acted stupidly. Now I'm in a lot of trouble. Dorothy. Let's have a look at the rest first and then we can change them. 
So circle, nice, adjective. LA try five. This building is almost empty. We did this one before. Empty. Almost empty. empty. Almost empty. Almost empty. West number six. He often goes out of town. Often goes. He often goes out of town. Sam, number seven, I tried very hard to win the race. So what is it, uh, first what is it changing? Sorry. Uh, hard. Hard. hard is what? Try hard. Adjective. 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 He sat on the grass quietly. No, that's the verb. That is a verb. No. That's on the verb quiet. Nice. Okay, everyone okay? I want no picture. Yeah. May I go to the restaurant? Yes. No, I will do it. Pause. West pause. All right, sit down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, ten. All right, number exercise B. We have to circle the correct verb. Exercise B, page eighty-three. Circle the correct verb. All right, let's start with you, please. Number one. He always drives. So spent. Thank you, West. Oh, I wrote too West. Too West. <laughs> too fast. He always drives too fast. All right, let's go this way. Ellie, you can do number two. Amy has a very beautiful dress. Good. Amy has a very beautiful dress. Ella and Dorothy. They painted the wall quite nicely. Quite nicely. Very good. They painted the wall quite nicely. Sam or? They are. I am really happy. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah. I am really happy to see you. Thank you. Yeah. Me too. West five. They are swimming very well. Good, very well. They are swimming very well. Ellie six. They worked very hard for the school this year. They worked very hard for the school. Dorothy seven. Everyone was truly happy to see me. Good. Everyone was truly happy. Oh, Sam eight. Really, really. Read the sentence, please. Um, thoughtful, slow. Talking. Really. Good. And last one, Wes. Me was very nervous before that test. Good. We were very nervous before the test. Don't put it in. Right. 84. Page 84. Right, write the sentences in the correct order. Dorothy, start with you too. Mike. Mike goes. Mike usually goes to school by bike. Good. Mike usually goes. Oh, I like milk. To school by bike. Bye, Mike. Mike. So number one, sorry, you can't say it. Mike usually goes to school. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Dorothy, you can do number two, please. Michelle. One more time. Oh, did you do number one? Yes. Oh, sorry. Ellie, number two. Michelle sometimes comes home late from school. Good. Michelle sometimes. Comes home late from school. Good. Michelle sometimes comes home 
late from school. Then quickly, um, my grandma will be good day. Good. My friend Mar looks very beautiful today. My grandma looks very beautiful today. West for West. They, they always drink milk in the morning. Good. They always drink milk in the morning. Yep. Yeah. Oh. 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 Uh, did that work? Yeah. Okay. There's another one here that doesn't. All right. They always, number four, they always drink milk in the morning. Okay, who are we up to? Number five. Last one. Go. Your school products are always good. Excellent. Great. Your school projects. Are always great. Number five, your school projects projects are always late. Your school projects are always late. Very good. Everybody okay? No. All right. Finish your sentence, please. No. All right, at home, if you need some more time for the video. One, two, three, stop. One, two, three, go. Drink milk. Are you only up to drink milk? No. Sometimes in school, I always drink milk, but oh. today we drink milk. Today? No? Okay. All right, exercise D. All right, then we're doing more frequency adverbs. Frequency adverbs. Exercise D. Now this is about you guys. If you're at home watching this, exercise D on page 84, just fill in the frequency adverbs. Okay, we don't need to go through this on video, so just fill in the frequency adverbs. For example, number one, I sometimes get up late on Sunday mornings, or I always get up late on Sunday mornings. All right, if you're at home, please fill out those frequency adverbs. One to seven. One, two, three, seven. All right, let's keep going, please. All right, page 85, last page, last page. 85. All right, all you have to do is circle the correct words. So circle the words at home. You don't need me to write them. Dorothy, number one, Ellie, West, and Sam. Go. They have a famous daughter. Good, they have a famous daughter. Circle. Ellie. My dog smells awful. Good, my dog smells awful. Circle, please. She West. has many pretty dolls. Pretty dolls. Circle. Sam. He, he learns everything fast. Good. Next. The new sofa looks comfortable. Good. It doesn't taste comfortable. comfortable. It looks comfortable. Very good. <laughs> Ellie, six. We usually eat dinner. Good. We usually eat dinner at home. Mm. Excellent. All right. Easy, easy, definitely. All right. Exercise B. B. All right, you have to check where the word goes. Yes, right. And write the word that it modifies. So number two, that problem was quiet. 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 So number three, check. And what is the word that it is changing? Difficult. Difficult. Good. It is changing difficult. From difficult to quite difficult. Next. Yes. Sam, come on, wake up. It is, it is, uh, 
就是距离。啊啊，对。对 ，is completely dark outside. So where number two is? That's where completely should go. And it's changing. Dark, completely dark. West, Ellie, four. I can't see clearly without my glasses. Good. I can't see clearly, and it's changing. See. Yeah, I can't see clearly. Next five. She felt too weak. So number two. Good. She felt too weak. She couldn't walk. Look, mommy is playing. It's changing. Weak. Too weak. Too weak. Number six, Sam. Somebody is playing the trumpet loudly. So number three, and what is it changing? Playing. The trumpet. Playing, correct. Oh. oh. Playing loudly. Oh. Oh. Correct. Oh. Well done. Well done. Okay. Oh. Everyone at home, okay. okay. All right. Last exercise. Last exercise. All right, number、uh, exercise C. There is one mistake in these sentences. One mistake.、Oh, sorry, there is a mistake in the sentences. Oh, one. One of them is correct. I can't. All right, Dorothy, we're up to you. Number one, okay. I can't visit my grandma last Sunday. I couldn't visit my grandma last Sunday. Good. Can't. I couldn't visit. I couldn't visit my grandma last Sunday. Ellie, number two. They did their homework at school yesterday. West. Correct. Did you go to France last month? No. No. Okay. Sam, hi. Good. We are driving to the beach now. We are driving to the beach now. Okay, everybody at home, thank you. That is all we have time for today. We did my next grammar student book and workbook. That is all we have time for. Until next time, stay safe. Bye for now. Bye. Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. S S E T English Town.